<laughs> I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog. It is Sunday night. I wanted to do a Sunday night vlog, like how I prep for the work week or just like a Sunday night in my life, kind of switch up the content a little bit. Thought it would be nice to show you guys like what a typical Sunday night looks like. I feel like in my weekend vlogs, I kind of trail off on Sunday afternoons and I don't really vlog a lot of it because I'm busy, I'm trying to wind down, I'm trying to prepare for the work week, which I feel like a majority of us try and do on Sundays. I end up on chapstick. I don't know how this video is gonna play out because it might be a little chaotic and all over the place because I am getting a late start and I am going to dinner with two of my best friends, Taylor and Maya. So I really don't know how this video is gonna play out. We're gonna try and just go with it. I still have to go to the grocery store and get a few things for the week. I'm going to dinner, which is like all the way across town. It's probably like 20, 25 minutes away. I have to do some laundry. I have some meal prep, all the things. So what I first do on like a Sunday to prepare myself for the week, I make sure all my work clothes are washed. I know that's such a basic thing, but if you start with all your clothes washed for the week, I'm not kidding. It's just a good feeling. Also, I love starting the week with fresh, clean bed sheets. I can't get to it every week. I probably wash my bed sheets every other week. If I wash them every week, I probably wouldn't have time for anything else. So last week I washed the bed sheets or else I would do it tonight. I am making a grocery list right now. I know it's on a Merry Christmas notepad but I'm making a grocery list. It's really small. A major thing that I do and that I would recommend if you have the means to do so is go to Costco once a month, stock up on all of your meats and frozen stuff because it makes each week for work so much easier. It's not like you're having to like plan meals every single week at the beginning of the week. You already have all your meats and you just go around it and look for sides, stuff like that. Also, the biggest tip is meal prepping. I find that meal prepping all of my lunches for the week is something that takes a lot of stress out of the week because I have my lunches set for four out of the five days and I only have to think about one day for lunch. I know it's hard for some people because meal prepping can get repetitive and I know that it can get just old quickly. So I feel like it takes a special type of person to be able to meal prep every week. But just try and do research on foods. Just get creative with it. And I find like it takes a lot of stress out of the week. So that way you can focus on other more important things. So those are my big tips. Laundry, bed sheets, clean bed sheets, meal prep, Costco membership or Sam's Club, anything. It's the best thing. I'm gonna finish writing my grocery list. I'll show you what I meal prep for our lunch for the week. I have ground turkey thawing in the sink right now. I actually need to like fill it up in water so that way it's thawed by the time I get home. That'd be fun to switch up the content, bring you guys along on my Sunday night routine. I hope it's not chaotic and all over the place and just a mess. But, anyways.
because they said 6, not 6.15, and it's 20 minutes away, and they're both on their way, and I have to be there in 15 minutes, so let's go out the door. I just pulled up at Carabas. Fun fact, I used to work here like uh, three years ago now. So this, this is the job that I had before my current job. And this is where actually me, Taylor and Maya, my two best friends got like really close with each other. Oh my gosh, you're super zoomed in. But yeah, just a little fun fact for you guys. <laughs> I just got home. This is what I got from Publix. I get Celsius. This is the key to a workout after work is Celsius. Peach Vibe is my absolute favorite flavor. And then I also like the sparkling kiwi guava. But I do want to try Alani New energy drinks, but I really like the Celsius. I got a few of these Siggy yogurts. I really like these in the morning with granola. This is what I've been eating for breakfast recently and I'm a creature of habit So if I like something I'll eat it until I'm absolutely so sick of it. It also makes it a lot easier on me when I have a plan And I've just been really into yogurt lately. So I buy yogurt. I also do I just pulled this out of my freezer, but I also do the Ezekiel cinnamon raisin bread with some peanut butter on it which is what I forgot from the grocery store. <laughs> I needed to buy peanut butter. Oh well, um, I can go tomorrow after work, but I love this cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread with some peanut butter or almond butter on top. You keep it in the freezer, it's so good. I love every single Ezekiel bread that they make. They're all just so good. So that's another breakfast that I do. Green beans for dinner sides, lemons. I have lemon water every single morning and I like to put it in my water throughout the day sometimes. So I just get a big bag of lemons and then Brussels sprouts for dinner side. So it's a simple, small grocery haul. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna start meal prepping our lunches. Actually, I'm gonna switch from laundry and then start meal prepping. I have a few things that I'm gonna hang up to dry. I hang up to dry my work pants. I hang up to dry this. And then any like leggings or biker shorts that are on the pricier side. So I'm gonna hang these up. I want to do a face mask. I like to do face masks on Sunday nights. I feel like it preps my skin. I also want to clean my makeup brushes. So we'll see. It might be a late night. It's already nine o'clock. So it's probably gonna be the 10.30 bedtime, which I don't like to do on Sunday nights, but that's okay. I wanna get all this stuff done so that way my week can run more smoothly. I feel like you can really set yourself up for success when you prep a lot of stuff on Sundays. Should I, I think I'm gonna put on a different shirt just so I don't ruin this while cooking. <laughs> Changed. Ready to cook. I don't care about ruining this t-shirt. Okay, we're back. My battery died. So I'm trying to wind down, get back in like the calm down, wind down mood because I feel like right when I got home, I was just like trying to think about everything that I needed to get done. 
I'm gonna show you what I am going to be meal prepping for Christian and I this week. I apologize for people who don't like the look of uh, raw meat, but I'm gonna be doing ground turkey. So we each get a pack of ground turkey. I get it from Costco, it comes vacuum sealed. We put it in the freezer and then we pull it out when we are ready to eat it. So it's gonna be ground turkey and I'm gonna season that with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then liquid aminos and a little bit of sesame oil. And it's gonna be kind of like a stir fry style lunch for the week. I'm gonna be using this cauliflower rice stir fry that I got from Costco. They also sell it in smaller bags at Target and it's by the Tattooed Chef brand. This stuff is so good. And then I'm gonna add some extra veggies, so I'm just gonna add some peas that I got from Target. So that's gonna be our lunches for the week. And it's really good. Um, I also wanna show my, so the containers that I use, these are incredible. They're from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're glass, they seal really nicely, and they keep the food good for four days. I really like them, little glass containers. Let's get to cooking. <laughs> season the ground turkey so salt pepper garlic powder and then after it's done cooking and you drain it I added three tablespoons of liquid aminos and a little less than a tablespoon of sesame oil then you just let it simmer for a little bit until everything's kind of soaked in and then it's good to go
Thank you.